So the Global Entrepreneur Programme attracts entrepreneur-led early stage technology companies from around the world to the UK. And we've been working in Australia now for the last 10 years. And it's a very successful market for us because many Aussie companies are interested in internationalising and they like the UK. And there's also a tradition of collaboration between our two communities. And we, we get each other, we, we understand each other in a way perhaps that, uh, that there isn't the same level of cultural and economic understanding with other countries. The purpose of the Startup Games is to help startups really hone the way in which they communicate their message, how they pitch uh, their, their concept, uh, their opportunity, their vision, their dream, and, and how they get people to either invest in their businesses or join their companies or, or buy their solutions or products. So far it's been awesome. Uh, we hoped it would go well. It's gone better than well. You know, the best mentor for a startup is often another startup. And we're seeing that here today where they're refining each other's pitches, improving each other's pitches. I think I've done about, would have been 40 or 50 pitches today. We got a, a lot of amazing advice from, you know, mentors during the day as well. So I think every time we had one of those sessions and we got some advice, uh, the pitch got better and better and better. It was a great experience for us to travel to the UK where we have a user base with cancer patients. Uh, our company is ready to scale to the UK and that's what we're looking forward to with this opportunity. At the moment we're winning, so it hasn't concluded yet, but at the moment we're winning. I think the best part about today is the energy. There's just a buzz about it. Everyone's so curious and you're also curious and everyone's learning together, I suppose. Well, I think there's many reasons why we need things like startup games. One is you get to see that you're not the only crazy person on the planet. The startup ecosystem in Australia, both in Sydney and in Melbourne, and actually, to be honest, in New Zealand as well, is so strong. One of the things that uh, Australian companies should do if they're thinking about scaling up is talk to Department of International Trade. The Department of International Trade um, provides a free service to any Australian or New Zealand company to help them navigate the UK market and help them also launch into the European market. So the journey doesn't just start with the UK, but we take the journey globally. We can provide the networks, the contacts, the information, the government relations support that a, a company will need. The winner of the Sydney Startup Games is Nod. Look, it's just been a really amazing day. We've had a, a really great time. It's, you know, a great event. Um, I didn't really know what to expect coming here. I think the, the best part of today was meeting some customers and having them sign up and getting some really positive feedback about what we were trying to do as well. So that was great.